Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how Crusher works, or specifically the Crusher and Shammer works on two-handed weapons. When they go over destruction stuff, when they go on two-handed weapons, and we're specifically two-handed, uh, two-hander. And uh, we're also going to check out Bow. And this is to see or show how Crusher Enchantment applies based on either your location or the location of the skill. The most standard application of Crusher Enchantment is usually on the tank or healer or a support role with a wall of elements on the destruction staff. So if I place the destruction staff wall here, as you can see from the LUI tracker, it has Crusher Enchantment. And the Crushing Chain will stay active. Uh, well, I don't have to worry. It's going to take some time. Okay, it's going to stay active for as long as the wall is down. When the wall is down, you'll notice that the closest target to where I casted the wall from gets Crusher. For example, if I come over here and then Crusher this, this target skeleton will get Crusher. No other skeleton will get Crusher, even if I move around. As you saw, the wall just finished, and the skeleton got the next tick of Crusher Enchantment. So while your location doesn't matter after the fact of casting wall, the initial cast still matters, or the initial location of the cast still matters. So that's why in fights where there are adds, Let's say this skeleton is the boss, and this skeleton moves over here in front. It will take the Crusher Enchantment effect on it, because it is now the closest target to where I casted the wall from. And that is how Crusher Enchantment works on a Destruction Staff with Wall. The second most common application of the Crusher Enchantment usually on tanks, is with bow. And a lot of people ask me, well, why did you tank off-tank Locustes with a bow instead of a destruction staff? Unless you have great positioning or uh, you have some good luck with the uh, spawning of adds during specific boss fights, uh, the wall will usually take effect on the closest target from the initial cast location, which can kind of mess up your uptimes in Crusher, which is not good because Crusher is a very important enchantment to have. Uh, for your group's penetration. In fact, if an ad is right in front of me, and my aim, or my goal, is to crush her to skeleton right there, it's better to just put Endless Hail. You'll notice, however, that just like Wall, it does not apply Crusher to every target, as it is an AoE, and Crusher and Chan can, and Chan can only go on one target. One really cool thing about Hail applying Crusher is that it is a very exact uh, act. So, for example, if I want to target a specific skeleton, how do I do it in this very large group of skeletons? Well, you have to aim the center of Endless Hail to apply Crusher. Your initial location does not matter, as you can see here. If you move here, the Crusher still applies to that skeleton as uh, as it runs out. If I moved here, it doesn't matter. So the initial location where you casted the hail from doesn't matter, but where it is will matter. So just to keep going, I want to on this skeleton. And since the skeleton is the closest to the center of the endless hail AoE, it'll keep applying Crusher. If I moved the center of the AoE, it'll apply Crusher to this target. So whichever target is closest to the center of Endless Hail is going to be one that gets crushed. Next, I want to talk about how Two-Hander can apply Crusher Enchantment. And I tested this a lot, and it seems very inconsistent once more than one target is uh, introduced. In fact, here in this video, once I stampede, one target, it actually goes to the other target. And I've tried various methods of testing, I've tried seeing if the Crusher Enchantment from the initial impact of the AoE uh, goes to the second target furthest away from the epicenter or 
uh, for away from the initial target. And while that seems to be the case sometimes or most of the time, it's still very inconsistent once you start adding more targets. In fact, once you start targeting different uh, you know, targets, sometimes enchantment always persistently goes to the exact same target every time or switches targets to uh, a target in the middle or a target in the back. And once you do add more than one or two targets, uh, it just becomes kind of erratic and really random. Uh, I've tested as well if the initial cast location affects the crush enchantment or the ending location or where I am currently affects the enchanter or the enchantment of crusher where it applies to. Uh, none of those factors seem to really matter. It seems very random. I also tested to see if maybe uh, just like Endless Hail, perhaps this uh, location of the target within the Stampede AoE would even affect the chances of it getting crusher. And to no avail, I can't really find rhyme or reason as to how, you know, a stampede applies crusher to a specific target in a, you know, a group of targets. Uh, however, for a single target crusher uh, ability, I would say it's pretty consistent. I mean, it, it still will keep up crusher, but when you start adding more targets, it just doesn't seem like a very good candidate to apply crusher accurately to the target you want compared to... Uh, bow or even uh, destruction stuff but yep that's it pretty much for this video i want to i wanted to kind of explore uh probably the three most likely uh weapons to uh, you know apply crusher on a support role whether it's a tank or a healer uh for resto staves one hand and shields and uh dual wield obviously direct damage like lie attacks uh and abilities will apply it but uh you usually always want to keep crusher up through a damage over time effect because it simply is the most efficient and easiest way to do so in a raid or uh, for main content. Thanks for watching and enough is enjoying and see you guys next time.